uh, with about five minutes left. I think Trey had his 14 of his 26 in the final six or so. Mm -hmm. What happened that he kind of got loose on you guys? Um, I thought he got downhill. Um, we picked him up, trying to pick him up to wear him down, but picked him up a little too high. He was able to get downhill, get into the paint, and kind of cause some havoc. But, I mean, you know, he's a great player, so, you know, he's going to make some plays, and, um, you know, that's what he did down the stretch. You guys tried a new starting lineup today. Um, did you like what you saw out of that? And is that something you could see for the foreseeable future? Until you guys yeah, I liked it. You know, I thought, you know, just defensively, I think defensively we were really good. Um, just still, you know, learning how to play with TMA at the point guard position. But, um, you know, PG gets back, he can help with that as well. You know, but I thought overall it was pretty good. You know, just um, if you're going to close games like that, just getting better with just trying to close games and making sure we get Kawhi the ball in his spots. But overall, defensively with that unit, I thought it was really good. Just some things we just got to keep working on. Ty, when it came to closing the game, uh, like the second half of that fourth quarter after having the 11-point lead, what do, you, what do you feel like the offense really need to do better in order to maintain that lead? Um, I thought we got some decent shots, but then we had some turnovers too. Uh, we had some turnovers that led to easy baskets for those guys, and then we had a couple of them blocked at the rim that led to, you know, basically like a turnover, and they got out in transition, got some easy baskets. But like I said, we, we, we scrapped, we competed. Um, we had opportunities, you know, I think up nine, had, you know, missed three free throws in a row. Um, we had a chance to, you know, go up seven or whatever. We had turned the ball over. So we did some good things to get back in the game after being down. And um, I liked our fight tonight. You know, I thought we did play hard, you know, for the for the whole 48 minutes defensively. You know, they they got some good players over there. But um, some things we just got to keep working on. But I did like what I see tonight, what I saw tonight. Uh, Ty, after – a night like this, losing the lead like you guys did, uh, what's what's the mood in the locker room right now? I don't know yet. Is there, I guess for lack of a better phrase, is there is there a, somewhat of a worry in a six-game losing streak that you can lose some guys in the locker room trying to figure things out and stuff like that? No, I don't think so. I mean, we have professionals over in the locker room, and, you know, just test your character and test who you are, you know, as a, as a person and as a basketball player. And so I'm pretty sure everyone at locker room been through some worse things than this, you know. And so tonight was encouraging for me, you know. I know Atlanta's been struggling, but they have some, you know, some really good players over there. And But seeing what we did tonight, you know, I was encouraged. Um, the second half, you, you know, you went away with that from that three-guard lineup that you had in the first half. Um, is that playing those three guards together? Is that something you feel like is is kind of over at this point? It's a large. Yeah, we're just going to you know experiment with different guys, but I think the three-guard rotation, you know, not their fault, but it's just it's tough for us defensively um, to get stops, you know, you know every night, and so um, you know we just we just got to see it, just continue to keep playing with it, and just kind of go from there. Obviously, it's a night when and Luke isn't available because of injury. When he comes back, you know you have a, a log jam at, at guard. What do you see that shake that lineup, that rotation shaking out? Yeah, we have a plan in place, but um, until Luke gets gets healthy, we won't see it yet. Yeah. Hey, coach, uh, with this streak where it is now, what sort of the toll it's taking on you, and how do you and the staff get together to? try to make sure that this thing doesn't, you know, permeate or, or grow into something that it should. Um, you know, of course you want to win games, but, you know, with our circumstances, what it's been all season long, um, it's not taking a toll on me. You know, I got to keep going to the drawing board every night, trying to make us better, um, continue to try to, you know, make sure we're doing the right things on both sides of the basketball and make sure our guys are positive. Like I said, tonight was a positive night to, for me, even though we lost the game and we talked about that all season. Like, you could lose some games and, and play, you know, and play really bad basketball. And I thought tonight we had a conscious effort to play in the right way. And so I can live with the results, you know. And so we got to, you know, keep working. Nobody's going to feel sorry for us. But, you know, I'm encouraged. And, Coach, uh, being up double figures late with six minutes left and you guys had three turnovers, do you feel like a lack of poise is something that you and your coaches thought about? You guys unable to close the games, guys getting flustered, Turn the ball over, <laughs> things like that. You feel like I don't think they were flustered. You know, um, you know, we're just not really a great passing team. You know, so I wouldn't say we got flustered. You know, we made some. We've been talking about it all season, so it's not like it's the first time it ever happened. Right. You know, so just you know, taking better care of the basketball, better ball security. Um, but I don't think the guys got flustered. You know, and I think Atlanta did a good job making some good plays as well. Ty, you've talked about how you've had tough decisions to make with this roster. What was your message to Reggie, and is he kind of odd man out right now? 
No, I just think, um, you know, tonight it was Reggie, and then tomorrow it could be somebody else, you know, and just kind of just experiment with different things. And when you lose five games in a row, you want to try some different things. And like I said, what I saw tonight was encouraging, you know, especially defensively to start the game and in that third quarter. So we just got to continue to keep working on it. But I, I did see some things that I like. I want to go back to Terrence. Um, obviously, you said he liked his activity tonight in that starting group. Um, he subbed out about midway through the fourth and then didn't come back until the very end. Um, what, was it just his minutes, or what kind of made you uh, go away from there down the stretch? Um, just how I felt at the moment. You know, I probably should have played him a little bit more when you look at it. But, I mean, we turned the basketball over. You know, he's not going to make a difference with that. Like, you know, so just taking better care of the basketball. And then, you know, with the spacing on the floor, I try to do something different. But I probably could have played T-Man a little bit more, even though he played 36 minutes. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kawhi's pace tonight. I mean, really somebody... good. That's why I'm encouraged. He had a yeah, considerable Yeah, great effort. pace. Really good. Great. He are was there, great. Their idea, like coming off of pick and rolls, with transition, things that he, maybe he wasn't doing before that you felt like. You That's what, why I feel good. I feel encouraged. Play with pace, got to his spots defensively, you know, did some things defensively. And so. Um, that's what we need to see, and um, that's what we saw tonight. So we just got to continue to keep building off that, but very encouraging. Thank you.